Okay, y'all, tonight we're totally going like Monday night, casual night. And if you were watching the video the other day and I said it was acorn squash, it totally wasn't. That is an acorn squash. So we're gonna do a very similar recipe. And then I've got some fresh fish that we just caught the other afternoon. Uh, it's a big snook, caught back on, on the wall, mocked at your river, fish, honey. and uh, filleted up. If you wanna see how to fillet a snook, go to one of these other videos. Get him, what are you doing? He is like biggest camera hog. He wants to be on YouTube. More. See? Hey, buddy. We're trying to teach them English, they're just not learning. But anyway, this is how we're gonna do the acorn squash. We're gonna be cooking it in the oven, so I wanna get it started first, then we'll move on to everything else. Cut your acorn squash right here. And make sure you don't cut your hand. Good, cut it off nice and flat. Move that over there. Cut this one right here. Looks pretty tough. It is, it's very tough. Then we'll cut this one in half. Mm, it's got a nice color to it. Okay. Now we gotta do. Mark, get down! Goofball. If you like seeds, if you wanna cook the seeds, these cook up just like. Um, just like pumpkin seeds. And if you want to know how to cook pumpkin pumpkin seeds, go right to this video. Yeah, right there. Yeah, go to that go to that video. There you go. And I think it's totally cool. We have now surpassed 10,000 subscribers. That means the oven is ready. But we have now surpassed 10,000 subscribers. That is so awesome. I really appreciate you all for all the support. There's all the seeds. You can wash those up and make it a really good snack with those seeds. A little bit of olive oil, just just a just a little. I'm almost out of that. Just a couple drops of olive oil. Then I'm gonna take some Everglades. Good, just like that. Now I'm gonna take some brown sugar. And it's it's really amazing. If you go get some fresh produce, you can do the same thing with spaghetti squash, butternut squash, acorn squash, whatever you want. It's just it's awesome, awesome recipe. So good. You can put more or less, whatever you want. But I can promise you, you don't want to miss this step. These are pecan pear lines. Just like candied pecan. You don't even need to break them up that much. You just stick them on there. I mean, that's done. We just prepped that in like three minutes. Throw it in the oven, 45 minutes, 350 degrees. Okay, 45 minutes. You gotta think timing. Cooking is all about timing, so I know right now we got 45 minutes to make this all happen. Tebow is probably gonna lose his mind if he doesn't get his ball. Go on, I'm cooking. He's like, Dad, you just ball. Yeah. So I'm gonna take these breadcrumbs, put them in here. About that much. And then sun-dried mangoes. Put some sun-dried mangoes in there. About that much. And we're gonna really blend them up real quick. Stop, y'all, get back. Come on in, I'll have my phone home. Uh, <laughs> get down, be quiet. Hey, Ms. Walt. Hey, who are you talking to? He showed up at dinner time. He knew we were cooking fresh fish. But I wanna chop up this a little more. That's our breadcrumbs, mango, all that. Now we're gonna throw in macadamia nuts. Gotta put plenty of them in there. Those won't last long. Oh, macadamia nuts are so good. Mm. 
That's what I'm talking about. Now you can see how nice of a mixture that is. That's what we're gonna crust our fish with. We're gonna take some of these little Dutch yellow potatoes. And all we're gonna do is just pour them up real quick. You sound like you're talking about a deer. Yeah, well, I'm not I'm talking about the potatoes. Marlon, what's wrong with you? A little pan, a little bit of olive oil. Let it get nice and hot. I love the smell of rosemary, especially on meat and potatoes. You get that thing, Ramage. <laughs> <laughs> Take some of this rosemary, throw that in there. Good. Just take this. Do that. Good. Okay, so now we've got our acorn squash going, we've got our, our potatoes going. Time to get our fish going, and we gotta kind of hurry because we got half an hour. Okay, so got some Everglades fish and chicken. Gonna season it up nice. Anytime you're crusting a fish, season it first so the seasoning sticks to the fish. Then roll it in flour. Got my eggs. Good. Now all I'm gonna do, just sit here and just roll all these. Just get them nice and lathered up. There's basil, mango, um, macadamia nuts, panko breadcrumbs. That's a ton of flavor right there. Now, now that the fish is all sticky, like that, all we want to do is crust one side, just one side. Why? Because if you crust both sides, it'll brown too fast and it'll overpower the fish. We want to be able to taste the fish, but we want to marry the taste of the fish with the amazing flavor of this incredible crust. Ooh, that is going to be off the chart. And believe me, y'all, I mean, this is like our casual Monday. This, we're just sitting here filming at the house, having a good time. You can do this. You could take the same exact dish and do it with, uh, with chicken. You could do the same dish with a piece of backstrap from a deer. No problemo. I'm actually gonna save this crust and we're gonna do something else with it tomorrow night because it's just so good. Oh, look at that. Now, anytime you crust a fish or chicken or anything, let it dry. Don't go straight from the crust into the pan because it'll want to come apart on you. So I'm gonna let that sit for about five, 10 minutes. We've got 20 minutes till our vegetables are ready. Dun, dun, dun. And just so you know, that's all that crust that we had left over. We're gonna be using that again. So we've got 12 minutes to go, about time to start our fish. What we'll do, We've got it at about a medium, medium high heat. You do not want it to cook too fast, otherwise it'll burn. There you go. Just right. Mm -hmm. We'll cook this one last. Now, as you can see. You don't want to slide these over? No. See this? That's our leftover crust. Now we're gonna put it in the in the refrigerator because it may have a few little pieces of fish in there that we don't want to spoil. All right, so we have let this cook on this side for just a few minutes, and we'll go ahead and flip it over. Oh, perfect, the mundo. Now, 
we're going from the meat side to the crusted side. The crusted side will always brown about twice to three times as fast. The sugars, I hate this flopper. The spatula, it's terrible. It's just the omelets. Uh, I don't even know about that. But the crusted side, because the sugar in the nuts is gonna, is gonna brown much faster. Remember that, because you can easily burn it. And that is a piece of junk. See this? That's what you're looking for, that color right there. Nice. Nice. Now, check this out. I'm actually gonna put this in the oven to let it finish while I cook that. And we're gonna get a sneak peek at the squash. Hallelujah, look at that. We'll just set this all right in here. Oh my gosh, that was such a good catch on accident. You're taking your, all your stuff off that. That's all right. Okay, I'm gonna set this back in the oven. A couple more pieces in the pan. Just like that. They're drying out. Oh, they're good. They're gonna be nice and roasted. And hopefully dad shows up soon because I'm hungry. I don't want a whole bunch. Your dad's here. Yeah, we did. Let's say the blessing real quick. Dear Lord, thank you for this day and thank you for this food. May you watch over us and guide us and keep us safe. Nourish us through the body. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, what do you want? Some ketchup? Yeah, let me, yeah, let me taste it. Oh. Poor little Teep Weebo. Did he step on your toe? What kind of fish is this? Hmm? Snow. Don't say anything. How you like it? Need a little bit of salt. Okay. But who caught it? That's safe. Who caught it? Not me. Oh. You didn't catch it, Sarah? Wow, Rob sure pour, poured me some milk. The big, big good. This is the guy who I beat out snook fishing the other night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What happened? What, what happened snook fishing the other day, Dad? I schooled her. <laughs> so, would you do this again or not? This? Yeah. Heck yeah. Walking the dock of shame after you get schooled by Rob's dad. No, I would never do that again. Would you eat the fish? Of course. Yeah. Good. All right. Mm. I got a guy from South Carolina. He sword fished all his life and all kinds of fish, but he never caught a snook. Oh, tell him to come over. Mm, he wants to go. Yeah. All right, y'all. So guess what time it is. Time for you to subscribe now Share this video, like it with your friends, tell everyone about it, and we're out.